So guys, this is our uh, demonstration board for our air handling unit. So these two pans are the supply and return pans and we have the damper actuators. Damper and damper actuators. Then we have here a damper actuator, uh, airflow switch, airflow switch. Then we have our motor control. Then we have some of our relays we are using in relation with our controllers. So these are controllers that is responsible in controlling the operation of our air handling unit. So this is uh, basically you will find it in the field. Then we have our uh, front end computers okay just a minute so this is our uh, workstation so let me show you the show you in the big screen okay so okay now as you can see here these are the graphical representation of our equipment so in this graphical presentation we are showing the pans okay now as you can see here the pans are not running or not working okay so we have some temperature sensors there so we are sensing the temperature in the area sir then the temperature in the return line temperature in the supply or in the outside air then these are the typical components of an air handling unit. We have the supply fan, we have the return fan, we have the filters, the pre-filters and bug filters. Then we have our cooling coil with the valve actuator. Then we have the dumpers, supply and return. Then we have our mixed air damper and our fresh air damper and our exhaust air damper. Okay. Then down below we have some information coming from our motor control right now. It is in the manual uh, position, the selector switch. Supply pan run status is off. Trip is normal. Then fire alarm. Then some information regarding temperatures. Then we have here our operator enable, time schedule, age or runtime. Then these are the typical equipment in the field. So these are the actual equipment in the field. Okay, so this is a chilled water type AHU, direct expansion type AHU, chiller responsible for producing the chilled water needed for cooling the air so the chilled water produced by these chillers will be fed to our cooling coil okay as you can see there chilled water supply and return then our valve will be the one to control the flow of chilled water in the cooling coil wherein the air will be passing through then this uh, air will be supplied in the area Okay, so now let me show you how these things work. Just give me a minute. So this is our uh, control panel. Okay, so let me put it in automatic. So this side is automatic. Okay, so you will see in our uh, status, we are monitoring real time. The value now it's in automatic. Okay, then when you put it in automatic, our uh, our control should open the damper okay so let me see if i need to turn on this one I turn on this one okay so when it is in automatic okay so let me check maybe there are some Okay, every, all the, okay, now, let me 
me see what is going on here. So guys, this is the control. I was checking the control because uh, our AHU is not running. The, the, the reason why it is not running because we have here one uh, information or one block that is giving us a false output. Okay, this is the AHU time schedule. Okay, operator enable is true. Okay, then... Both pans are in automatic, but still we are having some problem in our okay. So let me. Our logic program is responsible for opening and turning on our uh, fans. Okay, so let me walk you through with the program. So what is happening here is we have an expression block where the output is false because we have one condition which is false okay the time schedule is false now this expression block the output of this is binary okay so actually this is a combination of n gate so if a and b and c is true then it will give an output of one okay but since we have one input which is false so the truth table of end gate all input should be one before it will give an output of one okay so we need to make this hu time schedule true okay so let me show you why it is false guys so what i have here is the time schedule okay now this time schedule as you can see here on at 8 30 then it will be up at 20.30. So that is, what time is that one? 10 o'clock. 17 is 5. 6, 7, 8. Okay. 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's say 8.30. Okay. So it will turn on automatically at 8.30. Then uh, it will turn off automatically at 8 30 okay so this is the time schedule now this time schedule is the one affecting our air handling unit why it is not running because we will check the time we still have six minutes okay it's only 8 24 then another four minutes before it will turn on okay okay so guys we already put the uh we already put the equipment in automatic, okay, as you can see here. But still, our uh, time schedule is off. So this time schedule will automatically turn on at 8.30. So our time is uh, only 8.25. So we need uh, to wait for uh, for another 5 minutes before, before it will turn on automatically, okay? So... Just give me the time to explain to you. Okay, so let me go back to the control logic program. So again, let me explain the control logic program. So our uh, hand uh, supply pan selector switch is already in auto, as you can see in our uh, the output of the block. It's already true. Then there's no trip. There's no fire. Okay, for the return pan, it is already in automatic and there is no trip also. Okay, so everything, operator enable is already true. Then the time schedule is false, okay. So, we are using here end gate. As you know, the truth table of end gate is both input should be one before it will give an input or uh, output of one. So, as you can see, we have two inputs there then the output is true then likewise another gate the output is true another end gate there the output is true okay now we are using here a not gate okay so i will explain it later then we have here the expression block so expression block there are three inputs and it's using an end so as you can see that is an end so it is an equivalent of end gate Okay, guys, so I'm expecting now the time is 8.28. So, 
So our time schedule is still off. So it will turn on automatically at 8.30. Okay, so I don't want to adjust the time schedule. We will just wait for another 2 minutes before our controller will turn it on. Okay guys, so it is a little bit advanced. The time is 8.29, maybe in our server. It's already 8.30. That's why our time schedule automatically turn on. Okay, then our controllers open the damper. It's just waiting for the damper, some of the dampers to open. Okay, as you can see, damper is already open. Then our two dampers are slowly opening. When these dampers are open, then that's the time our control will turn on our air handling unit. Okay, so, okay guys, so our expression block with three inputs, all the inputs are already true. That's why our uh, expression block output is already true. Now, we are just waiting for some of the dampers to open. Actually, the damper is here. These dampers are still closed. Okay. Now, our controls turn on our fans. So let me show you. Okay. So, based on our control logic program, our controllers turn on our fans and we are showing the real-time values in the field. As you can see, the fan is already running, our supply fan, then our return fan, then we are showing some animation, then our valve is trying to uh, maintain what is being asked here from our set point. Our set point is 25.5. Then our actual air temperature is 27. The tendency of the valve is to open to allow more chilled water to bring down this 27 degrees centigrade to our desired temperature is 25.5. So let me show you the actual opening of the valve. It's here. So our valve is already, let me show you this one. So the valve is already fully open as dictated by our control okay. so can I ask someone uh, Mr. engineer Jandre can you try to adjust the set point so that we will see some response from our vault so the set point you can adjust it make it uh, okay just click okay now it's 26 27 so we want, let's say we are simulating, we want hot air in the area served. So our valve is automatically responding. Meaning if we want a high temperature in that area, our valve will try to close so that it will not admit chilled water. So the air will try to be maintained in this set point, 27. So the valve also is automatically responding here. So as you can see, the bulb is closing. It's already maybe 75% open. Okay, so the bulb is slowly adjusting based on the control. So everything is working fine. So the bulb command now is 75 and our bulb status is 78. It's almost the same. Okay, this is how building automation works.